So why, why should we call it a conspiracy? It's really important is the documented history of worldwide seer combinations in our day is what we're going to be covering. And so this is something that Brigham Young said. He says, we should not only study good and its influences upon our race, but also evil and its consequences. Again, we have to understand both what we're for and what we're against and what those threats are to what it is that we're building. In the Doctrine and Covenant, section 123, we read, therefore, we should waste and wear out our lives in bringing to pass, to bring to light all the hidden things of darkness wherein we know them. These should then be attended to with great earnestness. So we see here that we have an obligation to expose the hidden things of darkness, those things that are dark and that are hidden in the darkness, and to help people be uh, understand what's going on and so that they can take appropriate action. Because if we don't understand it, then we're going to be uh, taking the th we're going to be involved in things that actually make things worse. And so we see in this section as well that we need to wear out our lives in exposing these things. When you wear something out, right, you, you wear out a pair of pants. It's not because they were in the drawer folded up all nicely and, and never used. So it's important that we waste and wear out our lives exposing the hidden things of darkness. It's a vital principle that we go for with that. And the, the scriptures, Moroni in Ether chapter 8, talks about why he was told to talk about the seer combinations. And he said that, wherefore, I, Moroni, am commanded to write these things that evil may be done away. So he was warning about the conspiracy that was going on in his day. He was warning about the conspiracy that was going on during the Jaredites' time. And then he says, you know what? You people reading the Book of Mormon, you people that believe in it, you people that it's not just for the masses out there, it's that masses aren't accepting it. And it's obviously not for people in my time because they're dead. They're not reading this thing that I'm putting together. But I'm commanded to write these things for you people today, right now, so that the time may come that Satan may have no power upon the hearts of the children of men. So he says that evil has to be, this is how he, evil is done away. This is how Satan is bound, is by exposing the seer combination, exposing the conspiracy that he's the author of, that he's behind, that he's a part of. It's a vital aspect to what's going on and why we need to do it. And so because the issues we face, they're like fires. A lot of times when, we, when people will say, well, if there's a conspiracy going on, then uh, does not that make it impossible? There's nothing we can do about it. I say, no, it's the exact opposite, right? The issues we face, they're like, they're, they're fires. We have big government. We have attacks on property rights. We have attacks on the unborn. We have attacks on the family and attack after attack after attack. And if all of these things were happening randomly, like some sadistic, horrific game of whack-a-mole, where we just had to go after them all, all the time, and then there was nothing behind it, that would be exhausting and impossible because you'd have to, but we understand that there's a conspiracy, we can focus exactly where our focus needs to be and not be distracted by all these different arguments and all these different causes that are all pretty important, but there's really, we have to understand that there's an arsonist behind them. And the, you get rid of the arsonist and these other problems that you see start to go away all on their own. We do have to understand these are accident, these are not accidental fires and that there is one source, an arsonist. So what is what are seer combinations? What is a seer combination? It's another word for conspiracy, right? There be these things are being lost by his careful design on purpose, and the participants in the conspiracy are involved for reasons ranging from personal gain, all the way to being dedicated agents of Satan himself. Also, a third principle we have to understand with this is that we have that the enemy that we face, uh, we have to understand the enemy that we face, or we will not be ineffective in our efforts to defend liberty and build the kingdom of God. So seer combinations, they've been around since the very beginning. We read about them in the book of Moses, chapter 1. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry chapter, chapter 5. It says, and it shall be said in time to come that these abominations were had from Cain. So in the future, in our day, these seer combinations, you can see that they originated and that they go back and that there's a continuous conspiracy from the days of Cain all the way to today. And that from the days of Cain, there was a seer combination and their works were in the dark. These hidden things of darkness that we learn about in DNC 123 are go, go all the way back to Cain, and it's a continuous conspiracy all the way to our day. Now, these, these, this conspiracy they has engaged in signs and tokens. 
Satan has his signs and tokens as well. And we read about this in chapter 5, uh, later on in, in Moses chapter 5. It says, For from the days of Cain, that there was a secret combination, and their works were in the dark, and they knew every man his brother. They knew every man his brother. So when you look in the scriptures, in the Old Testament especially, no, has a sexual connotation. Wherefore the Lord caused Lamech and his house and all them that had covenanted with Satan, for they kept not the commandments of God. So Sodom, Sodom, the Sodomite supremacy agenda is a key part of this. So even if they're not Sodomites, you know, in, in the sense that they want to be married, a man wants to be married to another man, uh, this is one of their signs they engage in. They know each other. And that's why we see throughout the scriptures why this agenda is so looked down upon and has such a drastic and severe consequence. And so Moroni, explaining again to our day, going back to, to Moroni, Ether chapter 8, explaining that we read earlier about how he said he had to warn us. He was commanded by God to tell us about the seer combination in our day because so that evil could be done away with and that Satan would have no more power upon the hearts of the children of men. And he says in verse 21, and they, meaning the seer combinations, have caused the destruction of this people, the Jaredites, of whom I am now speaking, and also the destruction of the people of Nephi. And whatsoever nation shall uphold such seer combinations to get power and gain until they shall spread over the nation, behold, they shall be destroyed, where the Lord will not suffer or allow that the blood of his saints, which shall be shed by them, shall always cry unto him from the ground for vengeance upon them, and yet he avenged them not. Wherefore, O ye Gentiles, it is wisdom in God that these things should be shown unto you, that thereby you may repent of your sins. Now, what are your sins specifically that we need to repent of? He says right here, and suffer not that these murderous combinations shall get above you. You are, are allowing these things to continue to get above us is a part of the sin that we have to overcome and repent from. And these secret combinations are built up to get power and gain, and the work, yea, even the work of destruction come upon you. Yea, even the sword of the justice of the eternal God shall fall upon you to your overthrow and destruction, if ye shall suffer these things to be. We talked about this last time, if this, or two, uh, actually two classes ago, that the scriptures are full of if this, then that, right? If X, then Y. So he says, if you don't do this, this is the guaranteed consequence for you, for me is our destruction as individuals and as a people if we do not repent of our sins and we don't stop this conspiracy from continuing to get above us. It's an important thing for us to understand. Continue on, verse 24, Wherefore the Lord commandeth you, when you shall see these things come among you, that ye shall awake to a sense of your awful situation because of this seer combination which shall be among you. So he's saying, yes, the conspiracy is going to be there. So it's not like we can have the excuse of, oh, you know, that, you know, if people in the very beginning in the 1800s had done their job, then maybe we could have stopped it. And he's like, no, no, no. I know it's going to be there. Don't, you know, that's, that's irrelevant if it's going to be there or not. You have a job to stop this here combination once you awaken to the situation that you're in. For it cometh to pass that whoso buildeth it up, seeketh to overthrow the freedom of all lands, nations, and countries, and it bringeth to pass the destruction of all people. So we also have warnings continuing to our day. We see here in general discourses, Elder John Nicholson said, I refer now to the secret societies that are filling the heads of governments. That's exactly right. This isn't the mafia. This conspiracy is in the judgment seats, just as, and meaning government seats, just as it was during the, uh, the Book of Mormon times. These societies, which are inspired by a desire to throw off every kind of legal restraint, exist in some form or another in almost every nation under heaven, and especially in those nations claiming to be civilized. He says, it was a habit with Moroni, while making the closing portion of this record, to discourse upon the subject matter, to speak with the peoples of the earth who would live in this day in which you and I are living, as if he spoke to them face to face, as one man speaks with another, and warned them of the evils that would exist among them and the destruction that would fall upon their heads. Just reiterating this, the same facts that are just so self-evident as we read through Moroni's words to help us to see that he's talking to us. This isn't some kind of random just speaking to the ether. He's speaking because he saw our day. And so um, uh, John Taylor explained this as well. He says, the scenes which we are now witnessing in this territory 
are the result of a deep laid and carefully planned conspiracy. I talk about this in depth in volume one of my book, Invasion. Gets into this conspiracy that started in the 1800s and continues to this day, which I cover in volume two. Its originators have affected a wonderful combination with the purpose to combine to destroy Mormonism. And I'll get into even more detail on this in two weeks. So two Fridays from now, we're going to be getting into that. But it's important. This, the word conspiracy shouldn't be something we're afraid to use. Yeah. Is there? Do I got? What's that? Oh, my. The collar? Is that good? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. So we shouldn't be afraid to use the word conspiracy. These guys weren't afraid to use it. George Washington wasn't afraid to use it. Uh, John Adams wasn't afraid to use it. John, uh, J uh, J uh, the, all the founding fathers, they have committees to expose and rat out conspiracy. And so it's essential that we're not afraid to use the fact that we are facing a conspiracy. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to address the issue in the way that it needs to be addressed. So John Taylor Guinney says these seer combinations were spoken of by Joseph Smith years and years ago. I have heard him time and time again tell about them. And he stated that when these things began to take place, the liberties of this nation would, would begin to be bartered away. Pretty self-evident what's going on here. This is obviously, right? Today, the seer combination has gotten so big that our, our liberties are beginning to be bartered and eroded away. Not beginning to, but really almost entirely by this time. So Moroni in Ether chapter 8, he teaches us they exist to get power. So this helps us because we, there's no, you can't go to seercombinations.com and look up a list of every single conspiracy organization. You can't go to conspiracy.com and look up every single organization and they change their names. And so we, got, we have to look past the individuals because new people come in all the time. We're not going to be looking at Adam Weishaupt today because he's dead. <laughs> and, you know, these organizations, they change their names when they get exposed. And so we have to look at the principles behind them to understand and identify them in our day. So they, they seek to get power. They want to get money and gain, murder, overthrow freedom of all lands, nations, and countries, so not the Bloods and Crips, and bring destruction to all people, build global government. So when we awake to our awful situation, we are commanded that we must, one, repent of our sins, the sin specifically of allowing it to continue, two, not allow the conspiracy to get above us anymore, because if we don't do this, it will prove our destruction just like it did those previous civilizations here on the American continent. We have a consequence. Mm -hmm.